Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another ESL podcast. This is your host, Arsenio. I do apologize for all the background noise since I'm actually doing this at work. But you know what? I said, man, I could get work done. And here I am bringing you the towing. Now, <clears throat> based on how much time I potentially may have had over the past couple of days, you may get the YouTube video in the same day or you may not get the YouTube video in the same day. My goal is to, of course, give you the YouTube video in the same day. But um, I've actually done this Facebook Live before. This is episode 001 in terms of actually finding the answers with TOEIC. Again, this YouTube video is very, very essential for just about everyone out there because you're going to be able to see me scan the way I do to find the answers as quick as I do. So you can ultimately use those techniques for you on the test. But you know what? Since this is a podcast, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. If you're not reading this blog at the same time, um, you're going to find it difficult to understand what I am talking about. But I'm going to have to go into more vivid and different detail compared to what I am accustomed to doing. So with that being said, guys, here are the questions. We got five questions. And what we have, we have a double text. Now, with the double text, again, you guys are searching for where the answers are, and that is it. No and, no and, no ifs, no buts, no nothing. All right? So, if we look at question one and we analyze it. <clears throat> but first, let's look at the – no, we're not even going to look at the graphs. We're going to go straight into question number one. It says, where did Kelvin Adams see the ad? Where did he see the ad? So, here we go. If we look at the first text, it says apartment for rent. It has bullet points and it has the contact by the name of Kareem Patel. So obviously, Kareem Patel was the one that originally had written, okay, this specific text. But the thing is, we're looking for Kelvin Adams. So we already know that's going to be in the second passage. Am I correct? So if we go down to, of course, the, the passage and whatnot... Again, <clears throat> you're going to see the email, excuse me. The two is to Kareem Patel, the CC from Kelvin Adams. And it says, Dear Mr. Patel, so we know we're in the right realm of things. And of course, in that first sentence is where your answer is. It says, I saw your advertisement in the local newspaper. Now, if we go back up to the answers of question number one. It says, number one, on the internet. Number two, in the newspaper. Number three, in the shop. There it is. So where did Kelvin Adams see the ad? We have to first go to Kelvin, which is the double passage, the second passage. And then after that, we go down, and number two is the newspaper. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's how quick you find these answers. Again, I'm hoping to make this YouTube video to show you guys very, very soon how it all works. So, the next question, what feature probably attracted Kelvin to this apartment? So, there are a couple of things, right? So, if we look at this, if we look at the first paragraph, all right, right? Shortly following that first sentence, it says, I'm very interested in the apartment for my family. We are currently living in the west side, but are looking to move closer to the town center by the end of February. Now, let's go back to the question number two. It says, what feature probably attracted Kelvin to this apartment? Now, if you scan the passage and look for the number one, central heating, if you hurry up and scan through that in less than five seconds, you are going to see that central heating has, was not mentioned in that email to Mr. Patel. So number that A, that number one, and number two, <laughs> central heating is incorrect. Price is another one. Now, price, you're looking for numbers or you're looking for words that associate themselves with numbers like 200,000 or 20 hyphen one. There are no numbers. There are no prices mentioned in that email. So in that second to third sentence, he did talk about moving to the city center. And the third answer to that question number two is location. All right, so I hope you guys are following me with this. Now, let's keep on moving. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on moving. So here we go. How many rooms are it there in the apartment? Now, 
we know in this specific one, we're looking up the details of the apartment. Am I correct? Now, since we are looking up the details of the apartment, it's much, much easier to identify just because, okay, because that's all in bullet points and we're looking for numbers. So in the second bullet point of the first passage, it says two bedrooms. However, it does say kitchen, living room, dining room, bathroom, and balcony. Now, a balcony is not a room. Now, a lot of you would probably say, oh, there aren't two rooms because there's a, you know, there's a dining room, there's a living room, there's this, there's that. Uh, maybe there's five. If you include the balcony, maybe it's six. Those are your answers. Two, five, and six. Well, guys, when it says how many rooms there are or, you know, how many rooms are there in the apartment, we're talking bedrooms. What was mentioned was two bedrooms. That is all. So your answer is two. A living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, those are not classified as sleeping rooms. Please take notes of that because this is another one of those distractors that, again, makes non-native English speakers very, very distracted. <sighs> so let's keep on going. So here we go. We have two questions left. Question number four. What does Kelvin request? Now, I'm going to give you three requests right now. But we're looking to move closer to the town center by the end of February, so this apartment would be ideal. Last sentence. I was hoping to be able to arrange a visit sometime next week. All right? So that falls into an appointment in March. All right? Now, of course, he's going to move there at the end. He wants to move in at the end of February or whatnot. The appointment in March is more ideal. However, let's look at the bottom paragraph. It says, I would also really appreciate it if you could possibly send us a couple of pictures of the bedroom and the living room and dining room, as well as some directions. Now, because he mentioned both of those, those are both of the answers too. Directions to the apartment, pictures of the apartment. Now, this is a trap, because if both of those are mentioned at the bottom of the paragraph, you cannot write A or circle A and B for the answer. Am I right? So, the appointment in March is the first thing he actually requests in the first paragraph that is your answer it's a little bit weird this is one of those tricky questions and of course in toic they try putting one of those trick questions in every passage huh now on to number five you're going to see this again on the youtube video but on number on to number five this is the question which of the following is likely to be a problem the availability date the policy on pets the apartment size now if you look at the availability date okay that's very easy to find because that's in the bullet points at the bottom of the first passage it says available mid-march now if you guys remember the first paragraph he said by the end of february we would like to move closer to you know to you know towards the town center so this would be very ideal does that make any sense so, he wants to move in at the end of February, but the, but the apartment's availability isn't up until mid-March. So, that's going to be the problem. That is the answer. But let me tell you some of the wrong answers. The policy on pets? There is no policy. Now, it says no pets in the bullet point, but the email, he does not mention having any pets. So, that is not going to be a problem. The apartment size? Now, it doesn't even mention the square meters or anything in regards to the apartment, nor does Kelvin mention that in the email he had written to Mr. Patel. So that will not be a problem either. The only problem would be the apartment's availability date. So guys, if you are able to follow me on the blog and scroll up and down, thank you so much. If not, Wait for that YouTube video because it's going to be a sexy one. So, guys, again, I did this recently on my Facebook Live just, what, five days ago? Um, if I'm not mistaken, five days ago? Yeah, five days ago? No, three days ago, four days ago, something like that. I did this on my Facebook Live, right? So, you guys, if you watched it on there, thank you so much. And, again, 
the YouTube will be coming out and you guys are going to understand a lot more because again, I'm making sure I do a Facebook Live, show notes, YouTube, this and that so you guys see how I work. If you have any questions in terms of actually teaching up front and coaching and all that stuff, you know how to get in contact with me. All the details in my email is at the bottom, quotes, pricing, and all that stuff if you guys are interested in that. If you guys are just interested in learning English, we'll come on in for another podcast tomorrow as usual. Whoa, I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual. Thank you so much for tuning in. Over and out.